Welcome back to Breaking Skyrim. Uh, in our last adventure, we started to become a Thane of Falkreath by assisting people. Uh, we started with Runir here. But before you talk to him, you want to come and find Thadgir? Unless you intend... I just... Could you deliver the ashes to Runir? Thank you. So, just to make things easier and help two people out, ah, here's a delivery from the guy sitting right next to you. Thank and here's you. your journal. It's a collection of regrets that I try not to forget. Not yeah. So now we have uh, two people out of the way. Now, um, since everybody's here at the inn, we're gonna help this guy out. Are you loyal to Skyrim? Good. I personally don't like doing this one at a uh, lower level, just because you're breaking in, entering, you don't want to be seen and such. So, go ahead and steal the private letter. And a good thing that we have broken sneak. Or broken sneak stuff on, it's novice. Get a little lockpick experience. Anybody in here? I'm not seeing them. They could be downstairs though, so take the letter and then back. Now, those are the two simplest giving the burial ashes and stealing this letter. Just because they're right here in the actual township of Falkreath. Take a seat. Take Beam. A What's this? Good work. Take this. But it's good money. Now you can go back to talking to the Jarl. I don't recognize this Lord. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. Why? What are you gonna do? Cry? Gods, you're boring. Killer really? Um, well, nope, wrong thing. A sad time. This is an ode to Skyrim's Oh, okay. Well, that's the first time I've just had a random Nord. Because you can run into them in the middle of the, uh, you know, any journey. But... Yeah, I never ran into one in an inn. Don't know if it's a glitch or if that's an update, but. Todd says it just works. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of meat. So we go talk to the Jarl. Yes. Then by I grant I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the And now you have the Jarl has one of the few red guards in the game. Carl. It's an honor to serve. Lead on, Thane. My blade is always yours to command. Now, yes, my Thane. As you you've heard something? from me before, I don't really. Of course, Thane. How can I be of service? Deal with travelers very well. I'll just give her a few things for reasons. How can I serve you, my Thane? Yeah, I have frost. Lead on, my Thane. I might have some. So now I need to find his steward. There she is. I'm the steward here. There's no house available. You won't regret. I'll take it. Follow the road east from Falkreath, then north at the crossroads. Turn left, just past Pine Watch. No, it's honestly like easier to, uh... There's a bad hunger to them. And you look tasty, blah blah blah. No, um, we're just gonna walk, because it's not that far off. Not entirely sure... Is she not following me?
Good luck, White. There she is. In a better place now. So is there any I'm not so sure so she's good for a sneak, but. Probably not. So we'll just head here. We only need her to follow us until we get a good house built. And then you can recruit her to uh, watch over the house, improve it, and such. I don't know if I want to stay on the road. Might as well. Okay. My cat decided it is hazel time and not Skyrim time. Can you move the big fluffy tail? Thank you, baby. Okay. I'm not sure what the bandits are fighting over here. All I know is I see magic a casting. Traps already been used. Seems that there was a uh, another trap. Oh, it's Thalmor and a cave bear. I'm just gonna let them do them and let the Thalmor exterminate some bandits. Get off my lawn. All right. So now this is kind of a long, drawn out process. They did give you some things to start with. But one of the first things we're gonna need, here's a book explaining everything. Um, I'm probably gonna go ahead at least show you one part because you have to buy lumber so you can create the layout first so if you see here we went and roped off a nice little cottage space really Once you have that plotted out, you can start, you can see we need, uh, we're gonna need nails, eventually we're gonna need more sawn logs too. Let's we'll start with the foundation, really, can you take care of that? Thanks. You're gonna come into iron. Or no, it's not iron. You use iron. So we're gonna come into building materials. So we needed nails. We're probably gonna need more. Always need more nails. Yep, always need more nails. So, I'm gonna build as we go. As far as what we need, it's more floor, more framing, more nails. But at any time, you can turn around and see the progress that you're making. Like right now, we've got the walls up. You know, it's a nice little cottage. So as we continue, there's the roof. Now here's where you're going to need lock, hinge. So I need two hinges, iron fittings, and a lock. So, two hinges, an iron fitting, and a lock. 
Now they gave you most of these ingredients in that little chest that was next to it. But this is where things get dependent on you. Like here, I need two iron fittings. But you're gonna want the smelter. That is a definite. the garden too. Uh, I need straw, more logs, more logs, iron fittings, and more logs and nails. So to get logs, there's two ways to do it. You can go down to any mill and have them shipped. Uh, let's see though. If yes, my thane. Do you need something? I need a steward for my I'd house. I'd be honored to be your steward. You've built a fine steading here. So we're looking for of materials. Course. What are we running short of? I'll see to it at once. Is there anything else you need? And that simplifies everything. It time. also simplifies stone and clay. But if you don't want to pay the gold, because you know you're stingy like me, there's a clay deposit. Where's the logs? No, clay deposit right here. You can mine yourself. And there's a quarried stone deposit right next to the smelter. If you want to mine it yourself. So now that she's bought us the sawn logs, I just need nails and iron fittings and straw. So, iron fittings and nails. We'll do the uh, apiary here shortly because I know I have some straw at uh, Heiderheim. Now, that's the whole house built, a couple of uh, accessories put about. So what you can do now that she has become your steward, this place is bare, as I'll get out. Long life. All you have is that chest that you can put stuff in. And now you, if you feel the need, can you know build all this stuff yourself but the only thing that's really going to give you any form of uh, smithing is going to be making the iron fittings and the nails and the, all that stuff but you're also going to need stuff like goat horns you're going to need little additives like that you know this needs glass and again if you want to build all this you can uh, you can't place it where you want so, I personally don't take time doing all this. I come over what to her. What do you her. need, my thing? I'd like to buy furnishings for the house. What room would you like me to furnish? Very so pay good. Pay her a thousand gold. I'll make all the arrangements. And she will fill this whole thing up for you. Now, personally, me, um, because eventually we're not going to stay in this tiny little house. This turns into a whole manor. Certainly. What did you uh, have in but mind? We're also going to Very buy I'll see everything but the bard. What did you have in I, mind? I don't like the bard, but I'll see to it at once. Certainly. Just what make did you some have improvements in mind? to the house? I'll keep an eye out for a good cow. Certainly. What did you have in mind? Ah, good. There's certainly. What did you have in mind? I'll see to it at once. Certainly. What did you have I'll see to it at once. Now I like the fact that, you know, you can only have a few chickens or a bard, but I don't, again, don't like the bard. But eventually we're going to turn this to a manor house, and when you do, this turns into right, an then. entryway slash breezeway. Um, you know, door gets put in here, and then you go into the actual manor. Um, that allows you to renovate, and she'll turn this into a breezeway, um, you know, change the furniture in it. I like to personally keep it as the small house, just because it makes more sense to me that the small house would be for the house Carl, and then the manor would be for me. Um, I know that sounds actually kind of Uncle Tomish now that I say it out loud, but uh, 
just for the fact that she'd have some semblance of privacy that's not just labeled to one room, especially if I decide to get a wife, uh, have some kids. The only way that that would make sense to me is if she was my wife, and I, I don't like getting married in this game, honestly. Uh, if I do, it's usually to someone who's just a busybody at home, like, um, the lady at the Riverwood Trader. But now that you have your small house done, you can come back to your drafting table, and then start work on the actual manor house. I'm not going to remove the bench. I don't like removing benches until everything's done, and even then, I might not, just because it adds some pizzazz. So now we need to go find, um, Corundum, I think we need for the lock. And we're going to start adding things on. I'm going to give it time, though. Uh, let her actually furnish the house. Um... But that's the beginning of your house. We're going to abuse the garden for a few things in alchemy. Eventually, once the manor's built, we're going to have wings put on. One of them is going to be a greenhouse. Uh, benefit. Hey. So there's a benefit to having a carriage here. Uh, you might ask yourself, why would I invest 500 in a carriage when I can just go to any hold and have the carriage there take me for 50 or, you know, however much gold? Uh, this carriage will actually take you to, hey, double. This carriage will take you to the smaller holds, too. You know, take you to Shore Stone or Dragon Bridge or, uh, Rorikstead. So if you need to get to those small holds, it's very possible to. And, uh, not to mention, he becomes free. Where do you want to go? If I remember correctly? Yeah. So, lots more options, and it's free. Alright then. So that's the beginnings of your house. Uh, we're going to head to... Hiderheim, because the next place we're going is right next to Rorikstead. Uh, it's going to be another property of ours. Um, oh, that's an objective. I'm just going to end up walking. But yeah, uh, one reason we want to go to Hedraheim is to collect certain things for building the house. I, you know, I've been saving up some glass, some straw, some goat horns. That helps for that. But... Yeah, I'll pick up the video from there, because from Hadraheim we're gonna go take care of, a. Uh, in this area you can get a farm. So what we're going to be doing is switching back and forth between building this manor up for the purposes of alchemy, and then grooming the farm for the same thing. So I will catch you guys in the next video.